Well, hey folks, this is Seven here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me back here in Vintage Story. It's almost time to go to bed, but I thought we'd uh, take advantage of the fact that this is done. And we have a couple more bits of leather. Um, I think that's all I have, though. And that's not enough to, uh, to make another bag, unfortunately. And our supply of various hides... Yeah, pretty much, uh, not happening. <laughs> so, unless I've got some extra bits kicking around, which I don't think we do. No. Okay, fair enough. Um, animal bits? No. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have any at all, other than these six pieces. So that's unfortunate, because like I said, that's not going to uh, really give us anything. Hmm. I need, I'm pretty, yeah, you need eight pieces to make a pack. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's call it a night. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll be warm enough in the morning. We'll at least be able to get outside. But we'll see how it goes. Hope everybody's doing well today. It is a Thursday morning here in the beautiful sunshine coast of BC, Canada. And, uh, luckily, unlike this world, it's not snowing at the moment. Alright, let's have a slice of bread for breakfast. Uh, what the heck, let's eat the whole loaf. <laughs> okay, any further progress? Seven of eight. Hmm. So I could either pop them now and get the extra seeds... Or I could hope they're going to survive another three or four days in this extreme weather. It is minus six, which means we will start a shivering pretty soon. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for whatever we can get out of them. So 11 seeds and 22 per snippies, eh? All right. Alrighty. Whew. Yeah, we would definitely, uh... Yeah, you see our temperature just went back up. So it was definitely dropping out there, which means it is, by all rights, too cold. Okay, I have seeds in here. Yeah, those are the only parsnips we have. Okay. Let's go down to our root cellar. sure what we can do with these chicken eggs, but they're good for an extraordinarily long time, considering there we go. I knew those were not long for the world. Perfect. So we'll drop this in. 4.4. Okay, it's gone up enough that we should at least be survivable now. One of you, you are almost full, so let's top it up, let's seal it, and well, you're a long way from being sealed. All right, uh, close that. Close that. 
else? What about the rest of this stuff? Yeah, it's probably not gonna make it, is it? Oh, it's ready. This is ready, that's cool. Nice, so this stuff managed to uh, get past the worst of the worst. And I think we're going to... Oh man, our fro pigs are all frost. Don't lay outside in the snow, you idiot. Look at you. Oh, those are still pretty much full. All right. Well, I'm going to add this rye grain here. What little we have. Actually, let's go see if the uh, chickens have any space. I'm not sure they're that fond of the yield flax grain. Okay, it's in both though, so I don't have a lot of choice. Uh, that's full, that's full. Oh, we're getting another box done. Cool. Alright, so these last four I'll just take upstairs. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm trying to move back enough to open the door and the piggy kept pushing me into it. <laughs> oh, well. I guess that's where the expression being a pushy pig comes from. Uh, very suitable this time. Okay, here we go. A little bit of rye grain. Boom. Alright. I mean, it's not like we're going to starve this winter. It's just going to be one of those winters where we're going to have to sort of constantly... Oops, I have seeds as well. Constantly be stuffing our face because what we are eating is just not, you know, great. Um... I don't know which that is, so we'll do it that way. Ah, good. So 20 rye seeds. How's our spelt? 26. Yeah, it's not really a lot when you get right down to it as far as grains go. Okay. With that said... Hate how quickly you get you lose your personal marker in the uh, white background. They really need to make that particular little cursor a different color. It's great in the summer; white shows up real good on the green and brown. But come winter, not so much. Not so much. So looking for a few things. I mean, I don't imagine we're going to get much uh, fat out of game that we'll find this time of year. But the meat would be nice. Or we're going to have a basically meatless winter, one or the other. And I suppose that's fine, too. The other thing I'm hoping to come across is a bit more... Uh, high-end soil. I would like to change our garden over completely by, uh, by the time we get our first crop in next season. And to that end, I have left the Sparkly Bits mod on that will allow me to see the stuff from a little bit of a distance. Because especially in the snow, it will be almost impossible to tell what kind of soil is what. Shall be deceived. Oh, wait a minute, that's not how it goes. Low fertility soil? Oh, high fertility. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. 
You're a medium. You're high. another 19 of them, a little closer to our goal. Excellent. Temperature minus, well, 0.4, so we're fine. Like I said, I believe we're good to uh, minus 5. going to get as much, but with the feathers we might be able to start making better arrows. I'm not sure what the formula is. I don't often get to do the uh, archer thing. Alright, grab that. Really, eh? You can't cut it on top of the snow. Nine feathers, one piece of chickadee meat. I'm not that concerned. Well, I guess we'll take the bones. Again, I'm not that concerned. Okay, where'd our other guy go here? There he is. Huh, no arrow? I don't think it matters so much about creature weight when it comes to the chickens. I've never had one that gave me more than one piece of meat at a time. So, and I don't think I've ever seen one that gave fat. So, yeah, not sure where the uh, low weight comes in. Not seeing any more happy, happy. Oh, we got more chickens here, right? Eh? see in the grass. I think that's a chicken. It was. Okay. That was just my aim was terrible. Buddy went. I ain't going in there. It's wet and cold. Wow, look at him go, man. That chicken can swim. I tell you what. He's pretty good at diving, too, apparently. Hmm. Well, I would like one more chicken, but, like I said, don't think I want to go chasing them into the heebie-jeebie freezies. 
Uh, not seeing any time. 1255, 1.2 Celsius. So temperature's okay ish. Come on, little rabbit. Don't be shy. Because I also would like uh, pelts and such if I can get them. Okay, we got a wabbit up here. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Okay. Not seeing them in the snow, though. Ah. No wonder I can't see them in the snow. When they stop, they're, only their ears are sticking out, basically. That's not terribly helpful. That's him right there. Gotcha. We gotcha. Break the snow away. There we go. And I'll break the grass away. Dang it. I mean, thanks for that and all, but, you know. That's about as close to useless as we could have gone. Oh, there's another. The problem with sneak is you can't get over anything. Oh, that was him. I wasn't sure. I just spotted that and thought, hmm, that looks like a set of bunny ears. There we go. Took an extra shot, but hey. Any more arrows? No? Okay. All right, we actually got a small hide. Nice. One thing with that particle effect mod, and it's probably a good thing, they don't show up that far away. So you do have to be uh, pretty close before you can stumble on them, which is too bad on a big plane like this. It would be nice to be able to see it from a bit of a distance. sure how many arrows I have left. Uh -huh. There's another of the little blighters. But like I said, unfortunately, yeah. Even a different level in snow like I'm running into here. Does that mean I can't progress? Encroach? Dang it. Handy when you don't want to fall off of things. Not so great when you're trying to hunt. That's what I thought. He moved. OK. 
can't afford to be wasting arrows. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to start heading home pretty quick because it gets dark in another hour. There's a fox. Now, what does he supply for? I know the meat won't be anything great. But it may have a decent pelt. Yeah, unfortunately, it's also long gone. All right, we need to head back because I can see the edges of my screen are starting to freeze up a little bit. So, we are pointed directly at our house. That is a stroke of luck. Once I get back into the snow, I won't be able to see bugger all on the map. <laughs> at least as far as where I am compared to everything else in the world. So yeah, we'll uh, just have to head back here and hope for the best. Oh, butterflies, they're not good eating though, from what I understand. Yeah, I'd like to track that rabbit, but again, you can't sneak. Okay. Uh, well, it was a rabbit I was shooting at, but apparently not very well. Concentrate on getting home. I'm starting to freeze. That's uh, not good. <laughs> yeah, the temperature is going to drop pretty quick from here out. Oh, I don't want to go in the water. That doesn't seem like a good way to stay warm for some reason. Just saying. Oh, there's a rift. That's always a happy and joyous occasion. Alright, let's see if we can figure out. On the map, we're there. Uh, a little bit this way, other than that, we're good. Oh boy, she's going to be dark soon, that I don't look forward to. It's one thing to be cold, it's another thing to be cold and in the dark. It just seems to make it so much worse. Yeah, I hear you, chicken, my time of hunting is done for now, though. Oh, look at you, you nasty little monkey. I uh, don't want to go in the water. Okay. Oh, she's getting chilly. Very, very chilly. Where are we? Mm, there, so we should, our house should just be a little bit over here-ish. Okay. There we are, home, that is sweet, warm home. Well, hopefully, you know. It looks warm and inviting, I'll give it that. Get off my porch. There we go. Oh. 
Chicken, ooh, come on. Uh, some of fire. There we go. There used to be a mod called Brazier so that you could make nice little braziers. I don't know if that's still around though. There we are, you can see instantly the chill has gone off our screen. Lovely. So yeah, our temperature will now... Oh, and we're wet. Ew. But yeah, our temperature is starting to climb. Maybe what I should do is make myself an armor stand. Just so that we can... Uh, take off our wet armor when we get back home. Seems to make sense to me. Um, hay bales and planks. Okay, well, oops. Hay bales I do have. Planks I do have. Uh, plank mats. Yes, indeed. What do I need? A couple. Lovely. I think all of my wood is still outside. Okay. Quickly dash out here. Oh. Quickly dash back inside. Probably shouldn't have left the door open. That's not really the best way to warm the place. But considering we have a giant gap in the roof, it's probably not that critical, you know? Alright, now. Armor stand, yes, please make it so. Oh, where the heck did, uh... Oh no, did I like place those outside? Oh, for God's sake. That noise I heard, I thought I broke two clumps of grass. No, no, I set down our barrels. Oops, unfortunately. All right, armor stand. Let's get this built. And the planks. There we go. One armor stand. Hmm. My little clock is rocking back and forth. Uh. Well, it's not going to... Oh, yeah, that particular block is actually out of the snow. Okay, that's not right. What the heck? Doesn't seem to... Hmm, I don't get that. It's definitely not put down properly. Definitely not. Um, did that just put it back on me? It did. Why? Yeah, for some reason, this armor stand is not actually... It just shows up as a red target for some reason. I don't get that. Huh. 
No, I guess I can't put this on here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, there. Now, can I get it back? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, we're no longer wet, at least. Oh, temperatures. Uh, Excellent. Put that there. I think I've got one more piece or two more pieces of red meat. So we should be able to make a couple of decent meals thanks to that. But it's nighttime. It's cold. We're going to bed. Turn on the old electric blanket. Perfect. Well, it wasn't a bad hunt. I mean, again, unfortunately, we're probably... Well, we should be able to make one decent meal with the chicken. So that's a good thing. Minus 7.8. My God. I mean, our temperature is fine, because we're in here, but yeah, it's bloody cold out there. Huh. Alright, this should be dry by now. So... God's sake, we can't step outside because of the snow in the way. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I did. Alright. Hey, Grumpy. Just staying out of the cold, are you? Oh, that's nice here. Good man. Let's pretend that's something we should do. There we go. Alright. Well, five, yeah, not the best number, but it does mean we can make one double meat meal. Now I have no, uh, no containers left. So. Oh, I should have grabbed some veggies while I was down there. Dang it. Keep burning fires. What we will do. Is grab some kabajis. That way we can go two meat, two meat, two cabbage, two cabbage. And we'll have a really good, high-end, sustainable meal out of it. Yeah, it's getting freaking cold. We're going to start showing frost marks here again pretty soon. So, back in we go. Let's grab a cooking pot. Oh, empty hand. Come on. Thank you. There is a bit of a difficulty when things are stacked against a wall, unfortunately. So, one, two, one, two, and there we go. This will be a really good meal. So let's let that boil and boil away. Let's see if I can do, oh, I didn't bring any veggies for the chicken meal. Urgh. Careful we don't 
slip down the stairs. Uh, how about some of our new parsnips? I think fish and parsnip should go well together, don't you? Or chicken and parsnip, I mean. Fish. Yeah, I wish. Fish are a waste of time. Half of them don't even give you a single piece of meat. They don't give you bones. They don't have hides. Just a waste of time, man. A waste of time. So we can go one and one. And one and one. There we go. All right. Is this one done? Oh, it is. Okay, well, never mind wasting more firewood on it. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't hurt, does it, to keep it going. And you are done as well. Awesome. Alright, some meals. Okay, cool. I think what I'm going to do is munch these back. Cool. And then we'll put you here. We'll put you here. Okay. Off to the leather works. Well, just store this hide with the others. We gives us four, right? Well, at this point, that's acceptable. That is acceptable. Let's go and see what's going on with our House of Green. Yeah, this is looking pretty, uh, pretty done in for the season, I think. There's one left. Oh, we're getting pumpkins. Look, 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 look. Ha, ha, ha. All right. We get an actual pumpkin. Hee <laughs> hee. And uh, cabbage bearing friends. They're doing all right as well. They do need a watering. That's what we're here for. Planted, of course. Okay, it looks like everybody's in line. Let's keep this filled up. I'm 
least it's a beautiful sunny day out here. Might be cold as heck at minus two and a half, but it's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Pretty don't prevent the hypothermia, man. Alright, let's go and check. Stomp through this knee-high snow. And see if we've had any silly wabbits. Not even a track, man. No, not even a track. Hmm. That's not great. <laughs> really? I did not expect we'd be getting honey. Now, I wonder if these will actually swarm from these pots. Because I don't know that for sure. Get rid of some of that. We might as well grab it though. If they're going to keep producing, I'm more than willing to uh, keep allowing them to produce. That's fine. It doesn't look like they're slowing the amounts either. That's pretty impressive. This is uh, one hardy little group of very industrious individuals. Or group of individuals. Hmm. Um, yeah. You, uh, you are the one. Okay. We just get a couple. Ooh, three. Outstanding. Outstanding indeed. Okay. Those are all kept. So that's probably a deal. I'm going to have to go back to the tree and take one of those skeps with us. And get it to populate. And then we can populate the rest of them from that. I'm pretty sure is what we're going to find. Makes sense to me anyway, which means it's probably way off. of cooked meat. One piece of the cooked poultry. Alright, let's start with the poultry. Pretty much useless. Meat, a little better. But neither of them are great by any stretch. Okay. Let's grab ourselves a bolio. Boop. And which is the single poultry stew? That's this one. Lovely. Put you back. Maybe I just need to place it on a different material. Like maybe it won't set on stone, you know what I mean? So how about if we place it there? No, it's still shaky. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't know. But it was kind of annoying where it was. Indeed. Alright guys, well I think that's pretty much it for this frozen little day. I don't know what else we can accomplish here. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember, hit that like button. It does help out a bunch. And until next time, take care of each other, and ciao for now.